hello guys yes shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to show you how to make dry bombay duck curry bombay duck means dry bombil curry that is a kind of dry fish and this is a super easy recipe but it's super delicious super yummy to eat it's very delicious with roti chapati and boiled rice as well so guys let's see the recipe at first i have taken some dry bombay ducks i mean dry bombil and now i'm going to clean them so at first we need to remove the head like this and now we need to remove the dirt of the belly this is the belly dirt of the bombay duck and it's hard to clean with a scissor so i'm using a knife and i'm cleaning it you can see the dirt of the belly and uh, i'm cleaning it with the help of the knife and after that we need to remove the fins of the fish you can see how I'm doing this. So like this, we need to clean all the bombay ducks. And after cleaning, we need to cut them into pieces. I'm breaking them like this. So guys, in the same process, let's clean all the bombay ducks and cut them into pieces. All of them are done. So now we need to clean them. I mean to wash them. So I'm taking some warm water, here it is, it's warm and now we need to add some salt in it and after that we need to wash the fish, I mean the dry fishes in the warm water. We need to rub them nicely with our hand to clean very perfectly and I'm doing the same. So guys they are cleaned very nicely so I'm taking them off. I'm taking them out in the plate and here are they. Now we need some spices so I'm showing you what to arrange. I'm taking some finely sliced onions. It's about uh, one and a half cup of onions after slicing and two medium sized tomatoes finely chopped and uh, one and a half tablespoons of crushed ginger garlic you may take the paste there's no problem and some fresh coriander leaves finely chopped so these are the things we need to arrange and the rest of the things are available in our kitchen so i'm showing them later so let's go for the main process for the pan i turn the heat on and now i'm adding some cooking oil in the pan the heat is on medium now and at first we need to fry the fishes the dry fishes so now the oil is heated well and I'm adding the dry fishes, dry bombay ducks. On medium heat we need to fry them until they are crispy, until they are light red in color and the heat should not be on high, it should be on medium only. So after about 3 to 4 minutes they are done. They are nicely crispy now and light red in color. I'm taking them off in a plate. And in the same pan, we'll do the rest of the processing. Enough quantity of oil is left, so I'm adding some spices directly. I'm adding some cumin seeds, about one teaspoon of cumin seeds. I'm adding two bay leaves and a pinch of asafoetida. You may add some uh, red dry chilies as well. After the cumin seeds are crackled well, we need to add the onions. So I'm adding them and we need to fry them until a nice transparent color. On medium heat I'm frying them and now the color is nicely transparent so I'm adding the ginger garlic crush. You may use the paste instead there's no problem. After adding the ginger garlic we need to wait for some time until the raw flavor of ginger garlic is gone. And after the raw flavor is gone we need to add the tomatoes. And along with tomatoes, we need to add some salt. So I'm adding salt according to taste. I'm mixing everything nicely. After adding salt, we need to add some powder spices also. So I'm adding about half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of red chili powder according to taste, one teaspoon of kanda lasun masala. It's a Maharashtrian spices mixture. If you don't have it, then skip it. There's no problem. And now I'm adding about half teaspoon of paprika powder for a brighter color. 
हाफ टी स्पून ऑफ ड्राई मैंगो पाउडर एंड हाफ टी स्पून ऑफ गरम मसाला इफ़ यू डोंट हैव द ड्राई मैंगो पाउडर दैन स्कीप इट दैर इज नो प्रॉब्लम सो आई एम मिक्सिंग एवरी थिंग वेल द टोमेटोज आई एडेड वे आर नॉट ड्राई पे नफ सो माई स्पाइसिस मिक्सचर इज लुकिंग ड्राई सो आई एम एडिंग सम वाटर एंड नाउ मिक्सिंग एवरी थिंग वेल अगेन I think some more water is needed so I'm adding some more water if you are taking nice red tomatoes then you won't need to add any water so after adding water I'm mixing everything well again and after that I'm going to cook it with a lid on medium heat until the tomatoes are soft and the oil is released from the spices mixture after about 3 to 4 minutes on medium heat this is the texture the water is almost dried up and the oil is released from the spices mixture so now it's time to add the dry bombay ducks those we fried previously so here are they i'm adding them in after adding we need to add some water also for gravy so add water quantity according to your wish your choice how much thick or thin you want your gravy to be so i'm adding water according to my choice After adding water we need to put the heat on high until it starts to boil and after that we will put the heat on medium again So after boiling for about 5 to 6 minutes I'm checking the bombay ducks if they are soft or not So they are soft nicely they are done So now I'm adding some more garam masala about 1/4 teaspoon of garam masala I'm adding again and now some fresh coriander leaves and along with it I'm going to add about half teaspoon of sugar this quantity of sugar will balance all the taste of tomatoes and dry mango powder so I'm adding it but you may skip it if you don't like so after adding uh, garam masala and coriander leaves we need to boil the curry for about 1 minute again and after that we need to turn the heat off after about 10 minutes of turning the heat off this is the texture of the curry it's looking so tempting as you can see so let's serve it so guys you have seen that the recipe is super easy but it's super delicious to eat it's super yummy with roti chapati and boiled rice as well so try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching hope to meet you in the next video bye bye take care